Debbie, I'll be your lesbian any time. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to be 60 years old this year. I, I, can't, I can't believe where the time goes. But I'm slowly approaching those final three Ds of life. Yeah, dementia, decrepitness, and then finally dust. <laughs> and I'm just glad to be demented. That's why I'm here tonight. <laughs> I, uh, demented, Jesus. You know, that's the stage where you uh, can't remember, you can't hear, you can't see. Your sink that goes on the blink, you don't know if you farted or shit your pants. <laughs> Sinkta, I love that word. I think it's uh, Greek mythology. I think he was the god of ass. <laughs> when he appeared, these villagers didn't bow, they bent over. <laughs> if I ever have another kid or a dog, name them Sinkta. Just to remind me what kind of asshole I've been my whole life. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, memory. I prided myself on my memory. So now that I'm getting older and it's starting to fade, I give myself these pop-up quizzes. You know, like the other day at 2 o'clock in the morning from a sound sleep, I popped up. I couldn't remember the name of my ex-wife's mother's second husband. Who gives a fuck what his name is? Jesus. But no, I'm gonna torture myself for three hours in the middle of the fucking night. And it wasn't an easy name. I met the guy five years early in Brazil for one fucking day. If he didn't leave a lasting impression, too fucking bad. But here I am, three o'clock in the morning, I'm doing climbing the walls. I'm high anxiety now, I'm pacing the floors, I need drugs. I'm ready to call the paramedics. I'm not jumping out a window for a fucking guy, I don't even know his name. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Sick. It really happened to me, believe it or not. But I couldn't phone a friend, and I didn't have a fifth grader, so I didn't know what the fuck to do. I don't know that shit. Man. Anyway, so I'm fighting my brain. It's like a knot. It hurts so fucking bad. I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? I'll put it off till tomorrow. This is no bullshit. The guy's name was Morrow. What kind of fucking name is Morrow? Doesn't matter because every day now, I wake up every day and I say, Maro, hello, Maro. Because I ain't going back to that moment again. I'm being a fucking straight jacket for some guy I hardly know. It's fucking shit. Anyways, I had to go to a friend's wedding one day. I get all dressed up, I go into the city, I get to the place. The guy looks at me, he goes, What are you doing here? So I'm here for the wedding. He said, That's tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. I said, tomorrow? I can't believe it. I forgot what freaking day it was. But at least I didn't miss it. No, that happened the next fucking day when I forgot. Yeah. Just call me stink. <laughs> anyway, I have a friend who's a little obese. And he always wanted a Rolex, so he went out and bought, it, bought himself. I seen him the other day. He was disgusted. I said, what's the matter? He goes, this watch sucks. I said, why? He says, Tells terrible time, it's always stopping. I said, it's a perpetual motion watch, you gotta keep it moving, fat boy. I said, why don't you try it on your other wrist? He said, well, what difference is that gonna make? I said, that's the hands you eat with. <laughs> fat bastard, keep moving. Shit, speaking of watches, what's up with these watches today? 10, 20, 30 grand for a watch the size of a lemon on your fucking hand? I mean, come on, how big can a watch get? What's next, cuckoo clocks? <laughs> you spent 20 grand on a watch? Yeah, you, that guy over there. <laughs> and I spent $100. Did you want to tell more valuable than mine? I don't think so. Come on, people. You know how many BJs I can get for 20 grand? <laughs> Sick bastards. Watch. Basically, all I'm trying to say is, isn't a watch a waste of time? <laughs> anyway, then we get into texting. What's this shit all about? People don't want to talk to nobody anymore. What's the problem? I'm dating this girl. We're talking for hours on the phone. We're chatting it up, laughing. I know she knows I don't like texting. All of a sudden, I tell her, you know, don't ever fucking text me. I hate it. She goes, okay. Three days in a row. Text, 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 text. I'm like, 
okay, I'll play along, because maybe she can't talk. Right? <laughs> I, I text her. The end of the week, she wears out on me. I miss our conversations. <laughs> you miss our fucking conversations? Call me, you fucking moron! <laughs> Jesus. It's unbelievable. Anyway, I was banging this girl way back when, when I was able to. <laughs> it was wild porn sex, you know, the kind that everything goes, comma, shit. You know, I was getting near the end, and I said to her, like a gentleman that I am, would you mind if I give you a facial or a pearl necklace? <laughs> she says, go for it, Daddy, anything you want. She's rubbing it all up. She's loving it. I let out one little fart. <laughs> Get the fuck off me, you disgusting bastard. I didn't do it. I don't know what to do with you. Man. These are all mine. You can't do anything right. Hey, that was funny. It's all true shit, you know. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta go. My time is up. I'm done.